a hockey tournament in the middle of July. Sounds kind of ridiculous, huh? But not if you're as passionate about high school hockey as the Alpena Blue Line Club is. And that's why they teamed up with Northern Lights Arena this weekend to hold the Summer Memorial High School Hockey Tournament with the championship game yesterday afternoon. Two teams that know each other pretty well meeting up in that championship game, the Alpena Wildcats and the Gaylord Blue Devils. Blue Devils get on the board first. Casey Gilling goes bar down for the first goal of the game. Gaylord takes the early 1-0 lead. Gilling would make his presence felt again four minutes later on the power play. This time he finds Dustin Manns and Manns finds the back of the net. Blue Devils increase their lead to two goals. Wildcats would respond later in the period with a five on three power play. Sam Leachel takes the rebound and scores his third goal of the tournament. Alpina's first of the game and that cuts the lead down to just one. Mike Thompson is going to go ahead and tie this game up a minute later. He winds up and fires a shot past the Gaylord goalie. Back and forth we go. Blue Devils are going to regain the lead with six minutes left in the second period. Chase Paulanta gets a shot to go through the traffic. Gaylord's up 3-2. to two. Wildcats keep battling back though. Dean Schmansky hits an open Nick Esch and he buries it, the puck for the game tying goal. But if the Wildcats wanted any chance of winning this game, they would need their goalie Dakota Mayer to step up and he does so with a huge save on the breakaway. He had 27 saves in this game, none bigger than that one there. But the Blue Devils keep the pressure on. Mann scores his second goal of the game to give Gaylord a 4-3 lead. And for a while, it looked like that's how this game would end. But Mike Thompson gets the puck off the faceoff and scores his second goal of the game to tie it with less than four seconds left on the clock. We would go to not one, not two, not three, but four overtimes before this game was finally decided by a goal from Dean Shemansky. Wildcats take this game by a score of 5-4, to four, and they are your tournament champions.